Today's video is gonna start off with a very quick overview of where we are at the moment. We have sanded the bottom. I've taken off all of the hardware and all of the rigging, all of the railings. I am just about ready to put it back on. I've taken off a couple of the windows. So I thought I'd give you a quick overview of where we are before this, I don't know what the rest of this video is gonna be, at least this overview, so here we go. This is what she looks like right now. She is currently in this giant tent that took us forever to build. Uh, my boyfriend has sanded half of her bottom. See, she's only half sanded. Half her bottom is showing. Uh, I haven't taken any of the sealant from around the edge of the boat off yet. That's going to be the next big project. But what I have done is pulled the windows off. Yay! So here's one window and there's the other and both of those are off. Um, the windows on the other side are not off yet. Everything currently is under the boat. The mast is down here. Whoop! And there's the back that's the back railing, which I know the wood looked a little bit weird, um, but I really love it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so, um, we have pulled off the bumper bar on the back of the boat as we needed to get to these fiberglass repairs, which we actually took a sander to it a couple days ago, and. It looks way better even just being cleaned up. Like clearly there's still holes and parts that we have to fix and upgrade, but it looks way better than it did. And I will show you guys a picture real quick of what it used to look like, cause it was really terrible. Okay, I'm gonna go up inside of the boat real quick. I'll see you guys in a second. I have taken off all of the hardware on the boat, all of it including everything up there. The deck is currently clean, um, except for this piece, which I noticed last time I was here. I don't know why I forgot that. So that I'm gonna work on getting that off today and work on getting these two windows off today because these two are already up. And I brought some goo gone so I can try and get some of that tar off from around the boat. So we'll work on that too. Inside we go. We haven't done a whole lot inside the boat since the last time you guys saw it. What we're attempting to do is finish the outside, get everything ready on the outside because we can refinish a lot of the stuff on the inside once the boat's in the water. Okay, so let's see if I can explain this without too much difficulty. There isn't any load bearing walls in the fiberglass hull of the 26 foot rhino. So there's usually boards that go under the mast area, which is this area here. There are usually boards because the mast sits here. See how it's a little bit um, concave at the moment. And that's okay, but there are usually boards that sit here. Other than that, there's no load bearing in the boat. So because the boat is sitting on its keel, it is bending a little bit, which makes all of the walls sit off of where they need to be. And I'm talking everything. Like this is even a little bit hard to see, but see, it's not, it's like, it's pretty, that's pretty decent. That's like an inch away from the edge. So as soon as we put her back in the water, she's going to flex and start to bend back into shape. And once she's bent back into shape, we're going to put um, some sort of vinyl covering. We're gonna put wood down the center all the way to the back like it used to be. And we're gonna put some sort of vinyl covering along the roof here and down to the floor. And then I have been scraping this floor as much as possible to get all of the old carpet and glue off. And we're gonna paint the flooring white and we're even gonna paint this flooring underneath so that it's easier to clean and dry off when water gets in it. Other than that, I have a massive list of things that need to be done 
and there's probably a thousand things that I haven't gone over yet. Remember, Cat's Paws doesn't have an engine. The engine was removed long before my even my family even got a hold of Cat's Paws. So we're only gonna have an outboard engine, the tiller, and the power of the wind. That's the overview of where the boat is. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, things you want to tell me, things maybe I've talked about that I'm going to do wrong or things you think I shouldn't do or should do instead of something, please let me know. Put a comment in the comment section down below. You can even head over to my Instagram or my Twitter. Uh, Twitter's at sailing underscore tide and Instagram is sailing with the tide just like it is here on YouTube. Please feel free to go over and let me know what you think I should do because I really am winging it as I go. Other than that, hit that like button, favorite, and subscribe. Make sure that you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because if you do, then you will know when new videos come out and you'll be able to tell how I'm doing. Are you ready to work on the boat? <laughs> you look good in your boat attire. <laughs> Nala, what about you? Are you ready to work on the boat? Give me some boat! Nala, are you ready to work on the boat? Where are you going? Hey! Oh. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon for my next video. Bye! Thank you.